Okay. Hi, everybody. Thank, uh, thank you for at attending uh, this seminary. So I'm going to present um, the work I did during uh, my master thesis in, at Telecom Paritech. It's, uh, it is a joint work with Thomas Bonal, Alexi Galland, and Alexandre Lecou. And um, it, uh, it, led, it led to um, a sliding resolution algorithm for uh, hierarchical clustering. So this is the overview of uh, the presentation. First uh, introduction with the motivation of, uh, of this work. We first propose a uh, hierarchical clustering algorithm um, with, a new distance, uh, with a new distance. And then we uh, also propose a sec another version of this algorithm um, we, uh, which detects uh, the re relevant resolution to, the, um, to detect uh, multi-scale cl uh, clustering in a graph. And finally, uh, there are the experiments uh, to test uh, these two, uh, two algorithms. So first, uh, the motivation. So our algorithm uh, is, ba is based on, a, on graph methods. So um, graph, the graph representation, why? Because the graph representation is very efficient uh, for clustering. There are uh, many data that can, that can, be, uh, that can be represented as graphs. The, the data can emerge naturally, the graph can, can emerge naturally from, uh, from, the, da from the data uh, with, for instance, a social network or a neuronal connection in brains. Or you can co uh, build the, the graph from the data thanks to a similar similarity measures. For instance, if uh, two movies are, are similar, if they, are, they have the same uh, actors, or or you can build a graph from images with the pixels which are, are similar in terms of color. So these data sets uh, often exhibit community, uh, communi community structures. And uh, many algorithms already uh, try to, 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 to perform this task of clustering. There are k-means, spectra spectral clustering, and many others. Um, most of the of these uh, clustering algorithms um, only return one cluster uh, one clustering, um, but uh, we try to solve. Uh, there are many algorithms that try to solve this problem by, by proposing a hierarchical cluster uh, clustering, uh, and our algorithm uh, belongs to uh, this category, uh, this uh, family of uh, of uh, algorithms. Uh, another problem uh, that concerns uh, hierarchical clustering algorithm is that it returns many levels, and then we need to select uh, relevant uh, levels in, this, uh, in all these clusterings. So uh, again, our algorithm try to, to order all, these, uh, all the levels, um, uh, the, the clustering. So uh, now there is also um, a well-known uh, class of, uh, of clustering algorithms based on the modul modularity score. Uh, this score has a parameter called uh, the resolution. And um, there is uh, the, the most famous uh, algorithm uh, which maximizes this score is the Louvre algorithm uh, that can ma maximize the modularity just for a given resolution. So the resolution is an important parameter for this score because it impacts the size of the, the clusters in the, in the result. So we, will, we propose uh, in this uh, presentation uh, a second algorithm that selects in, in, uh, interesting um, resolutions uh, in order to have, again, multi-scale clustering with associated resolutions. So these are the notations for the graph. So the, the, um, we have uh, the set of vertices with n vertices, the set of edge with m edges. Uh, we, uh, we work on a weighted graph. So we have also the, the, the edge weights. The node weights, which uh, are for a given node i, the sum over all the neighboring uh, edge weights. And uh, finally, the graph weight, which is the sum of, of all the, the node weights. From these uh, weights, it is possible to uh, define uh, probability distributions. So again, in the same way, we have the probability distribution on the edges, which is a joint, uh, which is 
which is the joint distribution. On the, on the nodes, on, we have also um, the conditional distribution, which induces uh, a random walk on the graph. Uh, we can extend uh, this, uh, this, uh, this probability distributions to sets of nodes, to cluster of nodes, uh, which will be useful uh, for agglomerative cl clustering. So now um, we will see uh, the first algorithm we propose, which is the hierarchical clustering algorithm. It belongs to a sub, a sub uh, it, it belongs to a subcategory uh, of, of uh, hierarchical clustering algorithm, which is the agglomerative clustering algorithm. So that kind of uh, algorithm works in, uh, in, uh, in this way. So first, you have, one uh, you have a clustering with one cluster per node. And then you merge iteratively uh, all the, the pair of nodes which are the closest according to a distance d. So <coughs> this is detailed here on the with this uh, algorithm. Uh, the result is a dendrogram with, uh, with the sequence of a pair of merged nodes uh, at each step t of the algorithm. And um, it is interesting to, to note that if the distance is reducible, which is a, pro a property we will see later, uh, it is possible to implement uh, the, the, that kind of, uh, of algorithm, of algorithm with um, the nearest neighbor uh, chain scheme, which is uh, faster than uh, the, this, uh, this implementation. So uh, this is the distance we propose. Uh, we propose. So uh, the distance between nodes is simply the, the ratio between the, um, uh, the project uh, distribution and the joint distribution. It, me it measures somehow uh, the, the, pedan the dependency or the correlation between the node i and j. Because if, for instance, <coughs> the node i and j are independent, the distance is 1. If they are really correlated, p i j will be large and the, and the two nodes will be uh, close to each other. And uh, if they are anti-correlated, the two um, p i j will be, uh, will be uh, low and the distance will be large. Um, another remark is uh, if uh, a node i uh, has many neighbors, it increases its uh, probability, so the distance is larger because the influence of one edge, uh, the influence of one edge uh, on this uh, node is, uh, is less than if there are just few, uh, few neighbors. You can see also as uh, the ratio between the, the node distribution and the conditional distribution. In this case, you see clearly that um, uh, two nodes will be close if, uh, you, are like, if, if you are likely to, to go on node i, uh, uh, given you were in, uh, on the node uh, j at, the, step, uh, at the, the previous step. So a last remark on this uh, distance is that it is not a metric in general because we don't have the triangular inequality, but uh, just the non-negative, the distance is just non-negative and symmetric. So uh, we can extend uh, these definitions to a set of nodes. Uh, it, is, uh, all, it is the same, uh, same kind of formula. Uh, we, for, to implement the agglomerative uh, clustering uh, algorithm, we need to, have the, uh, to update the, um, the distances at each step of the algorithm. So we have this formula. Let's say uh, we have uh, three clusters, A, B, and C, we want to, which are connected to each other. We want to merge A and B. Um, and then you have a new edge between uh, A, union B, and C. And you can compute the distance between uh, this new cluster and C, thanks to this formula. And this formula is actually just the harmonic, harmonic mean, uh, weighted harmonic mean of, um, of the previous dis distances. So it is useful for the, uh, for the merging step in the, in, the, in the algorithm. But it is also interesting, it implies also this, uh, this, uh, this property, which is that um, the, the distance is reducible. So because uh, the, uh, the new distance here belongs to this uh, interval, we, we have that uh, the through the, through the run of the algorithm, the, the distance 
the sequence of distances cannot uh, decrease. So we have a sequence of, incre of non-increasing uh, distances uh, through the, the step of the agglomerative, agglomerative algorithm. And I, I, I told you, uh, I told you uh, before, uh, this uh, gives us uh, the possibility to uh, implement uh, the, the algorithm with the nearest neighbor chain, which is uh, faster than the classic implementation. Um, so this is uh, the, the agglomerative uh, R version of, um, of the agglomerative clustering algorithm with our distance. So we, we take the two uh, clusters which are the closest. We uh, save in the dendrogram the pair of nodes uh, which are merged with the distance. And then, thanks to these two formula, which is uh, an efficient way to implement the update formula we saw earlier, we merge uh, the two clusters. So we can maybe have a look at the agglomeration phase. So the update formula is equivalent to, to merge, I, um, to merge uh, two nodes, the two nodes uh, as step T in the graph. So we have the node A and B. Then we create a new cluster that, uh, and we give uh, a new label for this cluster, which is N plus T at step T. And um, we, uh, we create the new, the new edges thanks to this, this formula. So here there is an example. We merge A and B. There is an H equal, equal to 9 here, so we recreate a self loop on uh, N plus T. Here we sum uh, 1 and 2 to create the new uh, edge uh, between N plus T and U. And uh, the, other, the, other edge, the other edges have the, the same weights. So we have also a dendrogram. So the dendrogram contains two things. It contains the sequence of pair of nodes, of uh, pair of merge nodes at each step of the algorithm, and it contains also the sequence of distances. So you can see on this is a representation of the dendrogram. Here, for instance, if you want to merge the green uh, clusters with with the red clusters, you have these two branches, and then um, the distance here represent uh, the, the, um, the height of, the, of, of uh, this branch, represents the distance. Uh, this is possible to represent as a re regular dendrogram because uh, we have an increasing uh, sequence, a non-decreasing sequence of, uh, of, dist of distances. Uh, there are also uh, other remarks we can do on uh, the number of clusters uh, through the run of the algorithm. At each step, we reduce the number of, uh, of clusters by one because we merge two, two nodes, two, two clusters. So at step n minus k, we have uh, exactly uh, k clusters. Now, um, if the graph has uh, multiple uh, connected components, uh, for instance, k connected components, we merged uh, these connected components at the end of the algorithms. Because uh, at the end of the algorithm, because uh, the distance between the connected components is infinite. Um, so the result, for instance, of this graph will be a, a dendrogram with four branches, and each branch. As exactly um, is is a, a sub dendrogram, which is exactly the same dendrogram as if uh, we run the algorithm on uh, each single uh, connected component. So this was the hierarchical clustering algorithm, and now we will see the resolution selection algorithm. So first, uh, we need to uh, recall what is the, the definition of the modular of the modularity. The, the, so the modularity score uh, assesses the quality of a, of a partition or clustering. So uh, the intuition behind uh, this, uh, this score is uh, that we want uh, a, co um, a partition where uh, communities have strong uh, links between them within communities, but also a partition which is uh, diversified. So the, f the first uh, term on the left uh, is the weight of the partition. And you, want, and you want to balance uh, the, the weight of the partition with the, the, the second term, which represents the diversity, the diversity of the partition. This term is often called uh, the Simpson index. It is actually uh, the probability to, to sample uh, two nodes in the same uh, community given a clustering. So here you see that you balance the two terms, and there is the, parameter, the, resolu the resolution parameter gamma which uh, again uh, 
balance the first term and the second term. Um, this parameter is really important because, for instance, if you take a small gamma, for instance, um, let's say zero, there is just the first term, and the optimal partition is simply the clustering with uh, one big cluster containing all the nodes and all the edge or the edges of uh, of the graph. Uh, conversely, if uh, gamma is uh, large enough, the optimal partition will be uh, um, the clustering with one cluster per node. So <coughs> this is interesting to understand um, this uh, similarity coefficient, which is actually just the inverse of the distance of the distances which is just the inverse of the distance we saw a few slides earlier. Um, this coefficient, uh, so a way to understand this coefficient is we, we can wonder uh, when is it interesting to, to merge two uh, nodes, two clusters in the graph, in the graph, in terms of modularity. So it is interesting when the resolution, when the resolution is equal to uh, gamma ij or lower than this uh, resolution. So, uh, in other words, uh, it is the highest resolution for which the merging I, uh, IJ uh, uh, increases the, the, modul the modularity of, uh, of the partition. Uh, if we uh, think uh, again to, to uh, the hierarchical clustering algorithm, uh, we have at the end uh, a sequence of uh, distances uh, D, uh, DT, but we can also have uh, the the sequence of resolutions, which, uh, which is, in this case, uh, uh, decreasing. So uh, this led to, uh, two, uh, algorith to these two algorithms. So there are um, the Paris algorithms, which is a, a pairwise agglomeration using resolution incremental, incremental sliding. And uh, this algorithm <coughs> consists in two steps. The first step is to use to just use um, the hierarchical clustering algorithm we, we saw earlier, compute the partitions and the sequence of resolutions, and then we will just order all these partitions according to uh, the gaps of, uh, of successive resolutions in log scale. And this will give, uh, give us uh, a ranking, and you can take, for instance, the first, uh, the first uh, partition, which is uh, uh, the, the best uh, clustering according to the algorithm. Another way uh, to uh, select uh, relevant uh, clustering is to combine uh, Paris and the Louvain algorithm. So again, you use uh, the hierarchical clustering algorithm to get the sequence of resolutions, and then you compute, uh, you rank not the partitions, but uh, these resolutions, which is the geometric mean of the two successive uh, resolutions, according uh, with respect to uh, the same score. So actually, this we take the geometric mean because it is the arithmetic uh, mean of uh, in log scale. So then, with these resolutions, we take the, be uh, the best resolution, for instance, and we apply the Louvain algorithm that will uh, just maximize, uh, maximize the modularity and return a, a partition. So to understand uh, better uh, these two algorithms, we, we, can, pre we can see uh, this uh, simple uh, block model. So uh, this is a simpler version of the block model to, because it, it is uh, easier to explain. Uh, it is a dit, uh, on this slide, it is a deterministic, uh, a hierarchical deterministic block model. So uh, we have, uh, this model is composed of multiple uh, levels, K, let's say K levels, and at each level, we have uh, all, the, all the nodes are connected with, uh, with the same weight, a, a given weight, mu L. And these weights are decreasing uh, when you go uh, higher in the, in the levels. For instance, here you have um, 16 uh, clusters. This is the deepest level. All these nodes are connected with the same weight, uh, a, large, uh, a large weight. And this is the same graph, but we just, uh, with a clustering with the uh, higher level, these nodes are, 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 um, are still connected with uh, the same weights, but 
between these two communities, there are uh, another weight, mu L minus one, which is uh, lower than, uh, than the weights in this co within this community. We can have a look at the results uh, on the, of uh, this D2 uh, algorithm on this simple uh, block model. So um, the, the algorithms will first merge actually all the nodes at the, deeper, at the deepest level because they, are, they have the largest uh, resolution uh, similarity coefficient. And then it will merge all the nodes at, the, at just uh, the next level. So first we have here mu k, then we will merge all the, the nodes we have here, uh, mu k minus one, and it will uh, keep going like this. For, uh, at, let's say now at step t, we merge the, the node a and b, which belong to the level L. At step t plus, t plus one, we merge a prime, b prime. There are two cases. Uh, if the a prime, b prime belong to the same uh, le level, uh, the two, the two uh, similarity coefficients are the same and the gap will be uh, zero. But if a prime, b prime belong to the level L minus one, uh, we will uh, have this uh, alpha lo logarithm of the alpha uh, L, uh, and we will detect that we pass from uh, um, a given uh, level to another level. So thanks to this uh, score, we can uh, detect uh, this. And when alpha L is large, this means that um, when alpha L is large, this means that there is a strong difference between level L L and L minus one, so a higher um, score will give a, a higher gap in terms of this score. Um, so now we can have, uh, we can see the experiments we did to tr to test uh, this uh, all these uh, algorithms. So the first experiment is a test on the hierarchical stochastic block model. This time it is a stochastic version of the block model. So the weights are not uh, a constant, but um, mu L is just the, uh, the mean of uh, a Poisson distribution instead of uh, being exactly uh, 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 mu L. Um, here we have two levels that are detected by Paris with four uh, clusters, 16 clusters. And uh, this is interesting to see that um, the resolutions also uh, given by, uh, by uh, the algorithm is not uh, one as uh, it was originally the case in uh, the maximization of the modularity. So we have different resolutions and different uh, uh, partitions. <coughs> Here this is the dendrogram, the resulting dendrogram um, of, uh, of the hierarchical stochastic block model. Again, we can see two, uh, two gaps in the distances. Here, you have the first gap, with uh, you can count uh, 16 clustering, and, again, uh, and just uh, follow another gap with four, clustering, with four clusters. So this experiment is uh, important also to understand the link between resolution uh, in modularity and the sequence of resolutions we compute uh, during, uh, the, through the run of the algorithm. So, on the left, we, we took uh, the, H the HSBM, um, the, the last HSBM, and we run the Louvain algorithm at many uh, different resolutions. So here, there are 40 uh, runs of the Louvain algorithm at, uh, at a different resolution. And then we just plot the, the number of clusters in the, in the result of uh, the, the Louvain uh, uh, in the result of the Louvain algorithm. So you can see that there are two steps that appear clearly. Uh, one step at, uh, at four clusters, because uh, one step at four clusters, and one step at, at uh, 60 clusters. So these two uh, clustering seem, uh, seem to be uh, more stable with respect to the resolution uh, than uh, other clustering with, uh, I don't know, uh, 40, cl 40 clusters. Now on the left, we just run one time uh, the Paris algorithm, and we get, no, not 40 times this time, just one time, and we get the sequence of decreasing uh, resolutions. So uh, the first resolution is, is uh, up here, and then you have the decreasing sequence of the resolutions. At each step of the algorithm, you reduce by one the number of, uh, of, uh, of clusters. 
So you can uh, plot uh, this, uh, this sequence of resolution in that way. So this is interesting to see that we have the same steps uh, as for in these experiments. So by with just one run of the um, one run of the Paris algorithm, we managed to detect the, the steps on the stability zone of uh, the clustering with four clus clusters on the stability uh, on the clustering with sixteen clusters. So we also uh, did some experiments on uh, SBM stochastic block model. Uh, to uh, evaluate uh, the performance, we took uh, the adjust mutual information, which is a common uh, score uh, for to evaluate uh, the performance of clustering algorithms. Uh, the first experiment, we just uh, changed the number of blocks in uh, in the stochastic block model from uh, 10 to 50. We can see that uh, the <coughs> we can see that uh, Paris and uh, Paris plus Louvain uh, have a constant perform of performances. And uh, that the Louvain algorithm, uh, the performance of the Louvain alg algorithm is uh, slowly, de slowly de decreasing. Uh, we can understand why uh, Louvain the Louvain algorithm uh, has uh, worse performance because um, because on the right hand side you can see that it detects just uh, 20 clusters when there are uh, f 50 clusters uh, in the uh, in the in the actual uh, uh, stochastic block model. Um, you can see uh, that uh, Paris, and Paris and Paris plus Louvain uh, detect exactly the, the, right, the right number of, uh, of uh, clusters uh, in this case. We, we did another experiment. This time we have the stochastic block model with a mean internal, deg uh, internal degree equal to five. And uh, we change the mean external degree it goes from 0 to 50, and uh, we can see that uh, Paris uh, has uh, not a very good performance alone. Louvain has better performance, but the combination of the two uh, managed to, uh, to, to resist better to, uh, to the, a change of mean external degree. So we also did experiments on the real data sets. We, we used uh, these two, these three data sets, OpenStreet, which is actually a map of Paris with edges if there are uh, connections, if there are um, uh, a street between two intersections. Open flight with, airport, with uh, airports um, and the edge between, uh, on edges between airports if there are um, a flight between the two airport, uh, airports. And school Wikipedia, which is a subset of uh, the Wikipedia web page, uh, which is originally undirected, but uh, we, we, uh, we make it, which is originally directed, but we make it undirected. And uh, if there are uh, one link to, a, pa to a, a page B, if A is linked to the page B and B is linked to the page A, we give a weight equal to two, not one. So there are different uh, features more or less uh, large. So this is a result on the open street. So the first results, on the first results, we can see that the, the Paris algorithms uh, separate uh, the, 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 the give gauche of the, from the give droite of uh, Paris. So this is the, uh, the scene, and uh, so it is interesting to, to, to remark uh, this. And then you have uh, other clustering uh, of uh, Paris uh, with, um, with uh, small, smaller districts uh, of, of Paris. Again, you, we can remark that uh, the, the relevant resolution that we detect is not equal to one uh, mandatory. These are the results of uh, open uh, flight. So the two first results, they, uh, we, we detect uh, the Alaska and uh, the Groenland airports because they are almost uh, disconnected from the rest of the world. Uh, <laughs> and um, on the two next, on the two next um, uh, clustering, we uh, detect a different scale of, uh, of the continents uh, 
on the world. This is a test of the hierarchical clustering algorithm. So it is interesting because we can uh, decide how many clusters uh, we want uh, on the thanks to this algorithm. Here we we just display uh, five of the large uh, the five largest um, clusters uh, among uh, 100 uh, clusters found, found by Paris. Um, we can uh, see that uh, this uh, cluster might be uh, the animal classification. This can be uh, physics and chemistry. This might be um, uh, his history, plant foods, geography, for instance. And then we we look we can look at a deeper level in the in the dendrogram, and we have other uh, other type of clusters. Here, computer science. Here, it is uh, astronomy, which is maybe a subclass, which is a subclass of uh, physics. Again, a subclass of uh, physics and chemistry. And uh, we have uh, English uh, history, for instance, here. Now um, we also tried, uh, we also tested uh, the um, the running times of the algorithm. We compared it to uh, Louvain and uh, spectral clustering. So Paris have similar performance as Louvain algorithm, and uh, is uh, even uh, faster the, on uh, schools on uh, schools Wikipedia. Uh, we can see that uh, spectral is uh, is uh, a bit slow on uh, on a large graph uh, as uh, schools Wikipedia. So to conclude, um, uh, we propose a hierarchical clustering algorithm without embedding, contrary to, for instance, to Word, where we need to um, we need to embed the data in a, a Euclidean uh, Euclidean space. And we propose also uh, a way to uh, select relevant resolutions and uh, relevant uh, clustering uh, in order uh, to. We propose a way to detect uh, re relevant resolution based uh, to give this to give this resolution to a moder to a, sorry uh, to mo uh, clustering algorithm based on the, the majority score. And finally, uh, the the algorithms these algorithms are pretty fast thanks to the nearest neighbors chain if, uh, chain scheme and. Um, it's uh, memory efficient, and uh, we don't need any parameter to, to make uh, these algorithms uh, uh, working. Uh, the, we are, there are some uh, further ongoing works we already uh, started to, to, to analyze. The dendrogram browsing, we, thanks to the dendrogram browsing, it, it might be possible to, uh, to avoid the use of the Louvain algorithm after Paris, because if you, if you browse the dendrogram in a, a nice manner, you, you can have uh, heter heterogeneous heterogeneous size of clusters uh, immediately, and uh, there are also local clustering. You can adapt uh, that kind of uh, of, uh, of algorithm to uh, local clustering. So these are the references, and uh, so some, thank you. <laughs> Any question? I have a question. Um, this uh, slide you showed with, with Pi, with OpenStreet. Yeah. What was the, the deal again? What did you show exactly there? So, here? Yes. This? Yeah. So, so, you analyzed the graph yeah. in last week, but what did you exactly do with OpenStreet? So, here, each node is an intersection uh, of Paris. And there are connection between these two nodes if there is a street between uh, the, these two nodes. Okay. So we just we took this graph and we just run the Paris algorithm to to detect the different uh, uh, clustering, relevant clustering. So this is the first results. And is it clear? Well, yeah, I see the block. I can understand. Having mind the map, but the, well, what did you cluster exactly? We cluster the the intersection of uh, of uh, the intersection between the streets. Yes, yes. Okay. 
So what do we see? We saw the, the, the Seine on the first map up there. Yes. What, what do we see in the other colors? Yeah. What, what we so we, we discovered. So here we didn't exactly look at what is the meaning of each point, but uh, we can... It's not the point, it's the colors, no? Yes. Yes, so for instance, the, the, red, uh, the red cluster uh, could be a, uh, a, um, a district of Paris, a sub-district of Paris, but uh, I think that the interpretation... The of a point, does it, does it have a geographic meaning? Yes, yes. So it's this is the longitudinal latitude yes. of the intersection point. Yeah. So you can map the, the map of Paris on, on this uh, plot. Yes. But I mean, then it's, it's a zoom at the center of Paris, I guess? Or I, I mean, yes, I it's a zoom. Yeah. It's, it's, not, it's not all Paris. Because the Seine is not straight line like this. No? I yes, uh, the Seine should be like this, I, I, I think. So this is... Uh, uh, a zoom of uh, the Paris map. Yeah. Uh, for your algorithm, what is the role of the distance? That means if I change the notion of distance and do something else, yeah. uh, can I get, uh, what, how would this affect my So if you, algorithm? for instance, so this is a, a general version of the algorithm. Okay. Okay, so what we propose is just a new distance. There are other distances uh, that uh, can be proposed. For instance, Ward propose uh, the classic uh, L, uh, take the classic uh, L2 uh, distance. That we propose is uh, a distance uh, on uh, on nodes uh, on a on a graph, which is different. But, but there are many this like uh, yeah, you know, like also the, the Sylvet function, like uh, the Boulder index. There are many indices to show how many nodes, how, how close are nodes in the cluster and how good the partition is, no? You, we can think to many uh, other distances uh, on graph, you mean? Yeah. Uh, yes, but uh, we didn't try the, all these uh, distances. Uh. I'm just saying, uh, is it sensitive? Uh, if, if you change the distance, yes, of course, it will not give uh, at all the same, uh, the same results. So, is there a good distance? Uh, according to the, the results we, we showed, yes, uh, I believe it's a good distance. We, we managed to be resistant to many, uh, to the number of blocks, to the number, to the mean exchange of the mean external degree of each community, for instance. So, it's the only one we know that is reducible. Yes. Yeah, that's the, basically, this was the, the, the choice, the reason of the choice. Yes. Okay. Yeah. The reducibility is really important because you can implement the newest neighbor chain, which is faster than. Yes. Uh, in your uh, synthetic uh, data set, uh, you show. Uh, uh, you saw <coughs> yes, this one. Um, we can see that uh, some uh, colors are kind of mixed. Uh, let's say uh, the white vertices in, on the right graph are inside uh, the pink uh, components, for example. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is it an, an artifact due to the way... Uh, you this is due to the, lay to the layout, because we took uh, uh, the layout, <coughs> proposed uh, a classic layout. Mm -hmm. But um, yes, uh, if you take, for instance, here, this is another run with a different layout. And you, we, we clearly uh, we create our own layout to have uh, the first community here, the second here. So in this case, this is also uh, a stochastic uh, block model. But this time, uh, we can see maybe better that uh, the clustering. Uh, but you consider the position uh, of uh, between nodes to compute the distance between each node? Uh, no, no, We're, okay. no. Here, uh, the, the, the edge weight between two nodes uh, is uh, is sample uh, thanks to uh, Poisson distribution, ah, okay. and uh, the, the mean of the Poisson distribution is equal to uh, mu l. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. And so I guess that in the previous slide, uh, the position of the node is also uh, not uh, so yes. relevant to understand. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, in your uh, resolution section algorithm, why do you have a logarithm? Or choosing the best guy. Okay, this is a good question. So um, we we made this model 
which have uh, this uh, multi multiplicative decre decreasing. And um, because we, we found in practice that uh, this model is uh, quite good to represent the, the decreasing uh, of uh, the edge weights uh, through the, the different levels. So as this is the multiplicative decreasing, we, the, the logarithm is uh, a good choice to, to, to detect if there is uh, no, uh, no different uh, levels or if there is a, a jump. Did you try the real data sets to see uh, differences between uh, plain Paris and the Paris plus Lula? Uh, yes, yes, we, we tried. And, uh, for instance, I, I couldn't show all the figures, but uh, we will have exactly the, the same result for uh, exactly the same result for the best uh, ranking, and uh, maybe uh, some different uh, different districts, uh, maybe. If, a bit different districts for, for the, the next, um, the next uh, clustering. It is important to notice that uh, the partition given by uh, the hierarchical clustering is not the s that by Paris is not the same as the partition given by, uh, by Paris plus Louvain. Okay. So there are some differences, but here the first result is the same. Where do the weights come from? That seems to be a key parameter that I can't understand. You said for the the Wikipedia, you've got to wait two if the two pages reference each other. Otherwise, yeah. you've got to wait one if they reference one in one direction. Yeah. Is that it? <laughs> yes. What about the Paris streets? If they have a weight one? Uh, so it's uni unitary weight for Paris. So if there is a, an edge between two intersections, yeah. the, uh, there is just one weight with a weight equal to one. Okay. One edge with a weight equal to one. In practice, that's what. Where do the weights come from in, in a practical application? In general? Um, for instance, uh, you can take uh, for the airports. It could be the number of flights between two airports. Uh -huh. It is. It is. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it is actually. And um, for many, uh, I don't know if you take a social network. Uh, the weights could be, uh, I don't know, the number of uh, likes that uh, a person g gave to another person. Mm -hmm. So there are many graphs that emerge from the data like this. But they, there is no one, uh, one, one manner to, to create the weights. You can no. think uh, of uh, any different manner. So thank you.